Hi everyone, uh, this is Will, the beer champion, and today on this uh, mixed weather day in June, uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, review of a Boilermaker. So for the beer today, we've got this 10 barrel pub beer, hashtag cheap fun beer. <laughs> it's, um, it's an interesting beer and brewery, uh, 10 barrel started in 2006. Uh, they got sold to Anheuser-Busch in 2014. Um, but what's interesting is most of the beers that they produced are uh, still just as good as they were in quality. You can tell that this beer is uh, its very clear, it's very accessible, it's a very easy beer to drink. Mmm. Light American lager. But with actual ingredients, you know, he uses barley and grains and got that nice fluffy head. Mm. Cheap fun. Yeah, it's a solid beer. Great on a summer day. Uh, great on a spring day. And in this case, I guess it's still a few days away from summer. Mm. But just lovely. And today to pair it with... For some more cheap fun, I'm doing Four Freedoms Blended Whiskey. Made in America. <laughs> yeah, this is sort of their shot at, um, mm, at bourbon. Now, uh, Boilermaker has, um, well, yeah, so Four Freedoms is uh, what's called a white label product. Uh, it's made by Sazerac Brands. Uh, for Kroger brands, so it's in QFCs, Fred Meyers, um, and Kroger grocery stores. Uh, it is an exceptionally inexpensive brand of liquor, but it's what I call a B-plus liquor. It's my own thing. It's a, a pretty good tasting. Not great. You're not going to write home about it, but it's a pretty solid across all other brands. They make whiskeys, rum, a couple of rums, some tequila, vodkas. You can find it all over the country. But it's almost guaranteed to be the least expensive uh, liquor in your uh, in your hometown or wherever you are if you've got a Kroger store there. Mm. It's just delightful. It's not exceptional, but it's delightful. Yeah. Um, I if you have a favorite brand of liquor that you just need on hand for a like a mixer or something, go with Four Freedoms. Ever since Sazerac took over uh, the white label making a few years ago, it's just been like I always have some sort of four freedoms um, in you know in my well. Now, as far as the boiler maker goes, a lot of people think. Uh, by the way, uh, forty percent alcohol, five percent alcohol. Drink responsibly. <laughs> drink responsibly. Boilermaker was named uh, for people who were making uh, the kettles, the initial trains and cars, and it was after a hard day of work. They need something both refreshing and to get the job done. Uh, some people say to take a Boilermaker, you just got to take the shot and then drink the beer or sip on the beer. Some people do a drop charge where they drop the whiskey into the beer and then knock the thing back. Um, some people do just casual sipping. I'm on the sipping bunch. I, I just sip my whiskey because, well, I respect my drinks. Um, the classic boiler maker, of course, is, uh, is, is whiskey and a light lager like this. But in recent years, uh, in the Pacific Northwest and parts of L.A. and in parts of the Northeast uh, U.S., people have started just taking it as a shot and a beer. Um, a gin and a, you know, hoppy red ale. Uh, soju in Korea has been popular for uh, some pairings. Uh, it's, I'm going to be revisiting many, many drinks that I call Boilermaker, and uh, they're going to be a lot of different types of liquor and a lot of different types of beer and so if you have any recommendations, uh, just comment below and uh, let me know what you think, uh, what your favorite Boilermakers are. Because, you know, a shot and a beer can be a lot of things. All right. So 
This is mine for today. And it's delicious. Whiskey and light lager. Yeah. This is clean and crisp. This has a little bit of notes of vanilla. Mm, it's approachable. Anyone can do it. And that's sort of why it became popular. It was a blue collar drink for a long time. And it still is in most parts. In most parts. Um, some people take it to a high end location or high end thing. Um, you can get real history and hipstery and nerdy about this, but at the end of the day, just try and enjoy your drink and uh, don't try to get anyone to not enjoy theirs. <laughs> Alright, so this has been uh, Will and uh, cheers all. Like and subscribe and yada yada yada.